welcome to this video about uh, linearizing the wave equation uh, starting from the conservation of mass and the conservation of momentum uh, we split the fields in a base flow and an acoustic perturbation so the base flow is this uh, null um, quantity and the acoustic perturbation is the, the additional um, perturbation on top of it and just here for sake of simplicity we assume that the that we have no background flow but anyway one can derive a similar set of equations uh, just using the, the, the background flow itself. So inserting um, this in the continuity equation and the momentum equation uh, we arrive at the following uh, equations where we have a base flow components here and additional acoustic perturbations uh, here and the red ones are the higher order terms uh, we are considering uh, right now while inserting this. Um, furthermore, we consider that the space and the time derivative, the time uh, quantities of the place flow are in the independent of the time and the space direction and we also neglect the uh, higher order terms. Uh, here all the red ones and if we cancel out all the red ones and we consider the space and time independence of the green uh, the green functions, we arrive at the set of equations which can further be manipulated to arrive at the wave equation. So we use then the pressure and the density relation as outlined before to replace the density variation yielding the linearized continuity and the momentum equations uh, which we have here equation 4 and 5 and if we combine now these two equations um, then we arrive at the wave equation so we compute the time derivative of the first equation the divergence of the second equation and we insert the two equations into each other and then we arrive at the homogeneous wave equation uh, down here in terms of the pressure 